welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm picking up a 1979 Honda CX500. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, visiting my family. Jumped on the old Facebook's marketplace. Found this bike for $150. So I didn't have my ramp with me. Ran to the Home Depot, picked up a motorcycle ramp. It was about 40 minutes out of the way. It was 150 bucks. Come on. I'm gonna pick this thing up. And this is where you end up when you get bikes like this for $150 in the middle of some very special places. Gotta have some vision, some imagination. Number one deal with getting in a bike is stay ready with your supplies. You need paint thinner and paint, amber headlights and handlebars and air pods and pipe wrap and bands and grips and LED brake lights, LED turn signals. Just some little stuff. We got a couple more things in the way to turn this turd into something a little more desirable. Now, I don't know how many other people have ADD, but I do. And so I just got this bike home and I gotta tear some stuff apart because if I don't start tearing stuff apart, I feel like I haven't made progress. So you gotta tear stuff down before you can build it up. So let's get tearing things apart. I've seen better days. It's gotta go. You can't fix this. Time to get something lighter and newer. All right, well, we spent a couple hours tearing some of the old stuff off the bike. We lost the old seat, the old handlebars, the old mirrors, all kinds of stuff, cut, cut on the frame a little bit. And today, we begin to put some things back together. We went from some handlebars that are way up like this, and we're gonna be using some Clubman handlebars, which tend to have a curve and they go down and kind of put you, put the rider in a sportier position. Um, Amazon, good old Amazon, came through. Uh, I was running some errands, had to take a trip to Orlando. So that was a good time to just let packages come in and uh, you come home and you got Amazon packages on the porch. It's always a good thing. You know what it is. I think you know what it is. Clubman handlebars. Use these probably a hundred times. This is the idea. A lot of the bikes I do do look the same. Sometimes you find something that works. You know what they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I use Clubman handlebars. Um, 85% of the bikes I do. All right, we're putting on new grips. Let me give you a pro tip right here. When the new grips come, 
you're gonna have one that is wider than the other. That goes on your right side or the throttle side because you need to go over your throttle sleeve. The smaller one is gonna go on your left side or your clutch side. Game changer, WD-40. Don't even try this without WD-40 or it's not gonna go on. So spray your handlebar, spray inside the grip. Yes, it's gonna be a mess, but it'll go on so much better. And then you can wipe that sucker off. That's a freebie. So the original turn signals on this bike were massive and you saw me cut them off. But I like to replace them with some smaller LED turn signals. Here's kind of, once again, a little pro tip. You don't gotta drill new holes. Oftentimes this little bolt that attaches the headlight, you can remove and simply put your LED turn signal there and just reattach it. As you know, we ripped the air box off to make more space, kind of this new visibility. And we're gonna go with some AirPods. Now, this carburetor, oh, there's only two carburetors. If you get like a Honda CB 650, 750, those are all four carbs. Uh, this only has two carbs, so we need two AirPods. Your mechanic will tell you never to do this. Uh, we'll put these two AirPods on and give our mechanic points when he goes to to let's turn this car around bad for the bike looks cool we chose looks cool over good for the bike well there you have it two airpods on airbox gone and that's also a great way because uh, this thing hasn't been started in Lord knows how long. You can spray your starter fluid right in the air pod and not worried about trying to rip or pry an air box back to get in there with your starter fluid. This bike is going to need so much starting fluid. There's my uh, appeal with the air pods. One of my favorite subtle touches to do with these bikes and the classic trucks is the amber headlight. It just adds kind of a retro vibe. Headlight costs between $17 and $30. I feel like it's worth it for me. So this bike is so caked in mud, I decided to finally break down and get a pressure washer. I've needed this pressure washer for different uh, projects. We have live in a white house, so it gets dirty real quick. Good excuse to buy a pressure washer. Let me spend your money. Let's clean this bike. All right, so now that I got the bike pressure washed, it's dried and now it's time to paint. Another thing we can do that's a nice little touch is pipe wrap. As you can see on my little Triumph Bonneville right here, there's some exhaust strap right here. What it does is, makes your bike look cooler. We're gonna go with that. Pipe wrap pro tip. The pipe wrap has fiberglass bits all in it that you can melt on your hands or in your lungs or on your body at all. So rubber gloves as always, and also go hose it down real good. And um, that will keep it from sticking to your skin and your hands and getting in your lungs. All very nasty things. Trust me. moment when I was pipe wrapping and I looked up I thought this bike was a 1979 and I looked up from pipe wrapping and I saw on the neck of the bike that it's a 1981 model that's the same year I was born May 15th
1981. Well, now that we've installed the seat hoop, we are going to install the LED brake light. As you can see, these guys are about $12 on Amazon. You can see these two screws right here. What you want to do is pre drill some screws, some holes right here. Show what I was getting between the highways on the sea. It's a beautiful Monday. Just got off a little ride. It is, uh, man, like 73 degrees, blue skies. It was amazing. And I saw on my porch something that you want to see. When you have ordered a seat, you want to see the little uh, box from Amazon. Just tear in this thing and put this icing on the cake. So this is one of my least favorite parts in bike builds, but it does kind of the greatest result, I feel like visually. And that's taking these tanks down to bare metal. And that process is a pain in the butt. You gotta take the hardware off, take the tank off, and then you begin the process of using aircraft paint thinner to remove the paint, use scrub brushes, use scrapers. It, it can be an all day process, but the end result, if that's what you're looking for, is pretty cool. So once you've applied several coats of the aircraft remover, it's gonna take that paint off. You're gonna to have to scrub it good. You may have to scrape it some. You may have to sand it some. Once that's done, you're gonna wash it off with water. You're gonna dry it really good and really quickly because it can flash rust. Once it's dry, you wanna go ahead and get some clear, uh, some clear sealer to just seal in that, that paint or the bare metal rather, seal that in and it really gives it a nice shine as well. Brings out the natural color. You want to give it several coats, maybe three or four coats. It'll give it a nice protective layer as well and really bring the color out and kind of give it a bit of a wet look. I got a lot of ways that I can go. I hear a lot of voices. They have a lot to say, but I've known. I've been here before. Yeah, I do recognize the tiny There's my is a wrap on this project picked up another budget bike um, there's nothing new to this build this is one out of the old budget cafe racer playbook took it to a bare metal tank vans gum grips because you know how i feel about some vans gum rubber i uh, did the same little uh hoop did the led brake light turn signals amber headlight um, just the simple stuff to lighten it up. I got some new tires coming in tomorrow. I'll drop it off at the shop and let my mechanic, John, do some of the rewiring and a couple of the other issues to get it buttoned up mechanically. But if looking good's half the battle, I feel like we're halfway there. We're gonna get this bike on down the road and let it fund my next shop truck project. A 1969 Ford, I guess it's an F100 or an Explorer, or whatever the name was for the time. Just a full-size truck with the V8. Hopefully getting it tomorrow. Stay tuned. If you like the video, hit subscribe, like, 
give us a comment. I'd be happy to uh, reply, help you out with these type of builds for yourself any way I can. I'm coming up slowly. This feels